I need to, I need some new energy. I need to like, I just want to, it almost feels to me like a midlife crisis where the best way to describe a midlife crisis, and I don't have, you know, personal experience, but I, I've, I've been through situations that might be similar and it feels like this. It feels like your skin is like this, um, it has this zipper where you can unzip yourself shed your skin and you want to like leave all your past experiences behind you want to like start over you want to be outside of yourself you want to start something new but then it feels like you're constrained by a straitjacket where you know that zipper is there and all you have to do is reach it and unzip yourself you're constrained by the straitjacket so it feels very very frustrating and I feel like that's what you're dealing with right now a lot of you are bound by commitment. So you might have a mortgage, you might be in a relationship sharing a property, and you want to just um, break out and do something else. And you want to just travel, you want to flee, and you want to just um, get some new energies in your life. So I feel like almost this feeling as if you're in a rut, waiting on a new life to start, okay? And that's not a good start right now. So whatever it is, that you feel has been restricting or affecting your mobility, try to rectify the situation. Try to see if it's something that you still need in your life or has it outlived its purpose in your life. So I feel a lot of frustration and I feel like um, I feel like this big rift between the life that you have right now and the life that you want for yourself. And um, th I see this big divide and there is no way for you to bridge it just yet. I do feel in a month's time, some solutions will start coming in. So don't um, get frustrated, okay? Don't get frustrated. Um, energies ebb and flow in life. So we're not going to be feeling elated every month of the year. We're not going to feel down in the dumps every month of the year. And if you feel like you're down in the dumps every month of the year, there are definitely some blockages within yourself that you can clear up, but you might be choosing not to mainly because of, you know, that sense of obligation, that sense of like um, ties to the past. Okay. So just something to think about because um, if this is a recurring theme for you where you feel very stuck every single month of the year, there's something here that you can do to fix a situation. And that means, you know, looking at it realistically and figuring out practical steps that you can take. Okay, so three more cards as your advice. Uh, let me see if there's anything else coming in. Yeah, I feel like it's um, finances. A lot of it is finances, like being stuck in mortgages. Um, wanting to travel, I feel like there's a lot of uh, opportunities for you. The opportunities are there, but there might be, you know, responsibilities and time restrictions, time limits that might prevent you from traveling. Um, what I'm feeling is, um, I feel like there's this, you know, it, it seems like this ball and chain holding you back. Okay. So I don't know how that's going to play out for you guys individually, but I feel a lot of restrictions. So first of all, we do have the full card and the full card usually indicates, you know, wanting to do things anew, wanting that breath of fresh air, wanting a more exciting life and wanting to take life by the horns and grab new opportunities as they come in. We do have as well the seven of cups and the seven of cups indicates a lot of choices, a lot of like wishful thinking opening up and our world are being expanded. Okay. Your vision of the future, your vision of what you want is opened up. Um, keep in mind that these choices are not all real. So it's really important for you to reflect. Don't jump the gun. Don't like, for example, if you are for some reason dealing with a midlife crisis, think about like uh, on a soul level, what you need to find fulfillment. So rather than dashing off um, on a spending spree, dashing off um, to make irresponsible like life choices, dashing off for the pursuit of material things to fill in this void in our lives try to figure out what your soul on a deep level really needs okay because our soul needs new experiences possibly some travel fresh air a lot of exercise so there are definitely um 
milder things that you can do to break yourself out of a rut because I feel like that, that's what's happening here a lot of options a lot of choices are presenting themselves to you and uh, don't make the wrong choice so don't do anything too drastic this month because I feel like there might be some regrets coming through and I feel like a lot of you are kind of stuck or have been stuck the past year and I feel it's finance related and a lot of you have you know gotten yourself off your um, up off the ground and on your feet you might have started new jobs like the beginning of this year you might have a lot more um, financial stability coming in and rather than saving it I feel like you might be squandering it so just be very very careful okay so um, these are very positive cards indicating to me a lot of wishful thinking new possibilities looking at all your options and kind of like playing it out in your hand your head if I were to do this this is what my life is going to look like if I were to do that that's what my life's going to look like well that's all fine and good but I do sense there is an element here of fantasy associated with it as well so really map things out on paper to see like you know what are some of the benefits and potential pitfalls if I were to make such and such decision because I feel like you're not being completely realistic and it comes out like this so I feel like these options are mirages and if you jump for them you're gonna fall off this cliff so you have this nagging intuition this sense of responsibility possibly a friend somebody that you really trust telling you uh, don't be premature here okay so try to be a little bit more conscientious about mapping things out on paper before you jump into uh, new situations it looks good but there is a little bit of a caution associated with it okay and one of the reasons why I mentioned there is a um, caution here is because the seven of swords fell out right after the seven of swords indicates a situation where either we are or another person in our environment is being a little bit sneaky a little bit uh, cunning and the information is not all there so it is important for you to take a step back and re-examine this situation it could be you know it's an air suit so I feel like a lot of you are getting inkling or getting uh, some type of like red flags warning signs and it's coming from your spirit guides or it's coming from your external environment where you're feeling as if okay there's something off about the situation and honestly I feel like it links up with the two of cups it feels like a partnership if you are currently in a partnership right now I feel the partnership has a sense of like responsibility associated with it so it could be a marriage where you might not um, feel that emotional attachment but you might have financial um, in involvement investment in one another and it's really hard for you to extract yourself okay um, the other option that I'm, I'm sensing here is and I'm going to do your love reading in a little bit but I feel like there's some type of agreement coming through and it's proving to be a little bit of a burden for you. So you feel like it's um, it's really limiting my ability to live a free life. So for example, you might have somebody that you really like coming into the picture for you. They might demand more of a relationship and you're just like, well, I really like this person, but if I were to agree to a partnership with them, I can't, you know, be the bachelor or the bachelorette. I can't play the field anymore. So I see you ruminating over this situation. And at the same time, I feel like a lot of you might have had a lot of options like um, potential suitors, potential opportunities coming in the past. And this is a month where you feel like I should, you know, try to settle down but your heart is say, telling you that, you know, maybe the timing is not right right now. I do sense by the 20th, by the 20th of the month, you're going to have a little bit more mental clarity. Okay, so if you can wait it out or wait until the time of, um, I feel September 1st, September 1st, I do sense it's going to be better for you. Um what I'm also feeling here, we have a lot of voyage travel cards. A lot of you might be signing something, like might be moving, might be moving as well. There might be a trip plan or something like that. We have a lot of movement happening for you. And I don't know if it's happening on the 21st of this month or the 1st of September, but those are the dates that come out strongly. And those would be the ideal dates for you to like see a situation a little bit more realistically. Okay. What's coming in in terms of your emotional state here is we have the Nine of Cups as well as the Eight of Cups. So this message is very specific here. 
there is something that you've been uh, wanting for quite some time. I feel that within the past month, you got it. You got it. You, you got it in, in the bag, okay? It's a sure thing. And now it's becoming a little bit of a burden for you. So you thought you wanted it. It came into the picture. You were manifesting it. You wanted it so badly. And it came in. And as soon as it came in, you realize that this situation is a little bit restrictive. There might be communication issues. Um, if it's a person that you want it to come back or to come in for you, it's been great. But I feel like the energies between you and the other person might be a little bit jarring. For example, if it's a job that you thought you wanted and you were manifesting it and you got it, I feel like it's not emotionally satisfying for you for some reason. So I do sense there's that, that sense of like um, celebrate, like like counting your eggs before they hatch and getting yourself in a situation prematurely. If this hasn't happened yet, um, try to be careful about entering a situation pre prematurely and acting purely on an emotional level um, rather than thinking about things long term. So I hope that makes sense, Gemini. Um, I'm hoping to be able to publish this before the beginning of the month so that you can have a little bit more clarity because I feel like right off the bat you have all these options and there's a contract being signed here with the Two of Cups. You're happy, but it's a very short-lived happiness and you realize this is actually a lot more work than it's worth. So this can play out in a work front, in a new opportunity front, and in every front, or it can be a new relationship that you just started, you sign on the dotted line, and then you realize this is not what I sign up for, or this is restricting my movement, or this is like hindering my ability to really, you know, um, take on other opportunities or take on, take on other people. So be careful about this, okay? I'm hoping that if you haven't done this yet and it comes through for you, I want you to be a little bit more careful about the decisions that you're making. Now, in terms of travel movement, we do have here the Six of Swords. And the Six of Swords is a situation where um, you're sailing away from a very turbulent environment into uh, more stable water, more stable environment, okay? So this overall is one of the most positive cards in the deck. It basically means the worst of it is over. And you're gathering the knowledge because the, the sword suit indicate communication and knowledge, mental agility, mental processes, communication. You're gathering all the knowledge that you had that got you stuck in that turbulent situation and you're moving past it. And it's a really, really beautiful card. But I feel that, you know, like I mentioned with the Aquarius reading, um, because you're both air signs. Aquarius and Gemini's and also Libra, but Libra is a little bit more systematic than you guys. Um, you tend to live in your head. You tend to like overanalyze and you tend to just like think about best case and worst case scenarios and you play it out in your head and you play it out so well and so realistically in your head, you feel like you've already made a decision. So, but in the process of ruminating, overthinking it, no decision is reached. So a lot of you might have been like, okay, I need to get myself out of this situation and here's what I'm going to do. And then you scare yourself into thinking, you know, oh no, that's never going to happen. The results that I'm looking for is never going to come in. And as a result, you don't do anything. So I see a lot of thinking, but no action is being taken. So I feel like that's what's happening here where uh, a lot of you might have gotten something that you wanted and you realize, oh no, now I'm, I'm, it's not what I sign up for. I'm a little bit stuck. How do I get myself out? And you might not act on it at all. And a lot of you might be in a situation for quite some time and you're stuck. And a new opportunity comes in that's really, really good for you. But you're hesitating on making the decision. And that's fine. But if this energy recurs for more than, you know, three months, then there is a problem here. So I've actually been seeing this for quite some time. And I feel like um, your emotional state is running awry. And I rarely say that with a um, Gemini, but I'm getting a lot of water, which means that there is an emotional response to a situation, to a person that might not be altogether good for you. And you're not thinking rationally. So, you know, keep that in mind, okay? 
Um, let me see if there is anything else I'm, I'm picking up here. I feel like there might be a trip. You might be taking a trip to see somebody that you have a very strong emotional connection with. This could be a lover. This could be family member or friends. There might be a situation where you have to like make some drastic, drastic uh, movement moving far away because the Six of Swords usually indicates overseas movement, okay? Traveling to a different... Um, to a different like area geographical location but it usually indicates something a little bit more further away and a little bit more permanent and long term and you're not making a decision and um i do send something breaking through around the 21st onward to september that will allow you to make up your mind and then go okay in terms of your advice here what i do have is the six of pentacles and the Six of Pentacles is a situation where there is a financial windfall coming through for you from the universe. So for those of you who have been thinking about, you know, possibly purchasing property, selling property, I do feel buyers coming through. I do see uh, opportunities coming through. For others of you who are thinking about investment opportunities, starting your own business and things like that, this is like getting that financier to be able to help you build something, to provide the seed funding, to provide some type of um, initial like down payment, initial investment, overhead costs, and you know covering your overhead expenditure so that you can start something new. Um, the Six of Pentacles also indicates a situation where it's a very, very karmic card on a financial level, also on a personal level. So I feel, honestly, for a lot of you, there is a karmic relationship. And I feel that the situation is being balanced out and the karma is no longer there so i don't feel that you were dealing with like a heavy tumultuous relationship but i feel like you might be in a relationship where things have pretty much fizzled out but you're staying together because of mortgage you're staying together because of god knows whatever other reason and you're starting to realize as well that um there i need something else or the other person might be thinking that and they might be thinking I need something else. So there's um, this gradual, you know, end of karma. The, the balance has been restored in that karmic relationship. And as a result of it, you are now free to go. And the other person likewise is now free to go. It could play out in like a very random meeting with a stranger and you realize, wow, this person looks great on paper. And then you get together and you realize that you might not have very much in common. So while you're getting that, you're getting what you want. It's not like a long-term thing. I feel like there's a lot of stability here. So I don't feel like a tumultuous emotional roller coaster, but I do feel that there might be, you know, especially for those of you in um, situations where there's like mortgage, there's things built up over time and you have trouble leaving all of it behind. It can be problematic for you. And I feel like there might be some type of a contract here with the two of cups, which indicates like um, some type of, you know, owning a business together, owning a business together, owning property together, and it's hard for you to extract yourself cleanly, okay? Um, what's coming through here is the Three of Wands, and the Three of Wands is a card that indicates success. It indicates things that we have sent out in the past coming in for us. So this can be a lot of you job hunting, opportunities are coming through for you, choices, um, are coming through as well so it denotes like a lot of opportunities and you are going to have to make a choice here so it reverberates like the same theme as the seven of cups where you have a lot of options but you are going to have to be decisive and you are going to have to um, really figure out rationally what works for you you know yourself best and rationally what works for you so rather than going off on that emotional response to something or, or a certain person or certain situation try to think about Try to think about, you know, what you yourself need, okay? Because um, this is a card of tremendous opportunities and success. And um, usually our definition of success is not going to m match up to somebody else's definition of success. And Gemini, you are very, uh, you're a very conflictual sign because you're a dual sign and you're also represented by the major arcana, which is the lovers. And it deals with, you know, 
head and heart decisions and rectifying the two and finding balance between your emotions and your rationality is going to be a major challenge for you. Uh, Libra and Aquarius, they err to the side of uh, rationality, but for you, it, it's like you're caught in between both worlds, which is can be good or bad, but I feel that a little bit more rational thinking rather than, you know, jumping the gun based on an emotional response is going to be very, very good for you. I do feel as well temptation. Temptation, okay? It's just something to think about. A lot of fish in the sea. Temptation. So that's more on the romance front. And we do have the chariot here, which basically means success. Harnessing the disparate energies within ourselves through self-mastery, through self-discipline, through self-awareness, insights, and knowledge in order to forge ahead in a way that is making us feel very certain, very sure of ourselves, and we can live without regrets. So a little bit of an emotional month this month, but in a very positive way. A lot of choices are opening up. You are no, I feel like a lot of you are cutting ties with the past, with the past. Something has been like a huge burden on you. It has kept you very stuck. It has kept you very stifled. It was stable for sure. And you crave that stability. But I, I feel like somebody was an anchor in your life. Okay, your rock, your anchor. And um, this might be the month where, you know, this, um, this tiny little voice within yourself is emerging. Where you're telling yourself, I don't need another person to anchor me. I, I just, I can be on my own. And I'm just as happy, content, and capable of being on my own. So as a result, you're making some drastic changes in your life. Um, for those of you in stale relationships, stale relationships, when a Gemini is not emotionally or mentally stimulated, you tend to look for options outside of the relationship. And you could do it in a harmless manner through flirtation. Dividing your time between two people, but I do see temptation, okay? So try to curb that temptation out of decency for what you share with another person and, um, you know, out of respect for the sanctity of marriage and relationships and the person that you are, that the person that trusts you. So be very careful about this um, temptation bubbling up, brewing up in your environment, okay? So let's go into your love reading and see if this situation is how it's playing out. I'm using the Paulina Cassidy deck, and um, this is making a comeback because I figure this is a good month to just revisit this uh, deck, and it's also a very good deck for love relationships. So let's see what's in store for you, Geminis. Gemini's August 2016 Love and Relationships. So let's do that. Okay, so let's just go over the spread very quickly. And if there are other things that falls out, then I'll, you know, pull more cards. So at the center of the spread, we have here the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is a situation where it's like crying over spilled milk, but I don't really like that cliche um, definition of it because what I do sense here is based on this interpretation, based on this deck alone, it is a situation where you're kind of like comparing your life with another person's life. You're comparing your situation with another situation that you feel can be available to you out there, okay? So looking at a situation and wishing, it's kind of like that, wanting the um, greener pastures, comparing yourself with, with another person and wanting what they have, okay? Be careful with this energy. Be careful with this energy. Everyone is like, um, I guess like it's human nature to want more than the next person. And it's also human nature to be tempted and to like see somebody else's life and wish that we're yours. And it's human nature to always want what we can't have as well. So what I'm feeling with this uh, card here, and especially at the heart of the reading, 
is there's something that you have here that is really good for you in this present moment. You might be ruminating over something that you had in the past. You might be like um, stuck in the past and you're not making a decision to move your life forward. So once again, this is um, a little bit of an inner conflict playing out, okay? In the past position, we have the lover's card. And the lover's indicates a situation where there are choices and actions and consequences as well. It's linked up here with the Seven of Swords that decided to fall out. So it is uh, dealing with a situation where we have been unscrupulous, where we might have pursued somebody or somebody might have pursued somebody else while they had another relationship going on. So this is like hiding information on the love front, uh, dealing with somebody who was quite unscrupulous and they didn't tell you the whole story. Or being in a situation where you might have taken somebody for granted as well. So what I'm feeling is for a lot of you, you might be dealing with uh, an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. That, that could be their sun, moon, or rising. Where you or them were kind of um, hiding the truth. Or you might have had two options. They might have had multiple options. And... Working together as a unit has been very difficult. So then you might have hedged your bets. They might have hedged their bets with other people. So I feel like that's what's coming through in the past. I feel that there is a, a process of learning here. You've learned from this situation and you're ready to kind of, um, you're, you're kind of like at that uh, threshold where you are taking the, the next step. If you have leave, left the situation behind, you are taking the next step into the next phase of your life, Okay. Um, the foundation here is the, the situation on which everything is built upon. We have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. What I'm feeling here is the, the King of Pentacles deals with like a real estate agent. So I'm feeling as if a lot of you might have joint property and you're not in love anymore and you realize I can't stay in this type of a relationship, but there are financial considerations, possibly property, the property, if it's a property, I feel it freeing up. So you might sell the property, you might let it go, and you might be able to emerge and extract yourself cleanly forever, um, possibly by the end of the month going into September. So that might come through. A lot of you might be in a situation where you're putting your life on hold. You're waiting on some type of communication, some type of a certainty from this person. So this is an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, I'm feeling that they have options, okay? I'm feeling like they might have multiple options. So if you're waiting for a commitment, I feel that you're putting yourself out there and you're telling this person, I do want a commitment from you, but they're, I don't feel that they're going to be able to give you a commitment. So this is a situation, a lot of you might have been dealing with an earth sign where you were you're looking back at this situation and you feel as if they deceived you as if you feel as if they deceived you and you feel as if they weren't being truthful honest and there was more to the story and i feel like this is not something that's coming in in august i feel like you've always known this and you were waiting on some type of a commitment and it didn't come in the manner that you'd hope okay uh, crowning this reading, something that you're thinking about. We do have here the Five of Swords, and the Five of Swords is a situation that is very conflictual. This is wanting to engage in a battle, wanting to like have uh, a, the last say, wanting to like confront another person, wanting to feeling quite upset and angry, and wanting a situation to like wanting you know that closure, wanting like. Um, to communicate with someone and giving them a piece of your mind. I feel like that's what's happening here. And I feel like the other person might be non-responsive. They might just be completely out of the picture and you want that. You want some type of a confrontation. You want some answers. But you feel like if I were to engage with them in, in conflict, um, it's not worth my time. So I feel like a lot of you are stepping over to the next phase of your life because what's coming through here we do have the three of wands it echoes the same theme as the previous the general reading for the three of wands which is waiting for your ship to come in sending out vibrations positive manifestations to the universe and getting options that are coming through that might be very very good for you okay 
Um, I feel like you have a lot of fire signs coming through in the picture. You have some options that um, are, you have some people that are coming through that are very interested in you. And I do sense that you're being a little bit more delicate and more emotional and a little bit more, like you're, you're putting your walls down. So whatever this situation is, it has taught you a lot about how to, you know, not be on the defensive, not to stay in a relationship too long, not to invest yourself into in a person that with withheld affection or that was not um stable for you so you might have been like a third party somebody might have like be in a marriage situation you thought that marriage was going to dissolve and you st stayed and stayed and stayed hoping that they would turn around and acknowledge you and i feel almost as if um in the future you're not going to put your life on hold in that manner and you're also going to free yourself and you're doing so in a way where the people that are coming through you're going to have more of an emotional connection with them because you're starting to feel like it's time for me to heal and it's time for me to open up to new possibilities okay i'm going to see what's going on here with this king of coins we have the sun and the sun indicates a situation where we are it's almost like that childlike innocence okay you might have had fun with an earth sign and that's all it was okay and you thought there was for some reason i'm feeling like this person really rocked your world um they pro they they might have a very great sense of humor and they might have um provided a lot of i feel like insights they might have like um I feel like they're very financially abundant and they might have provided the good life, okay? Like there was a lot of travel, a lot of movement, a lot of fun, exciting experiences, a lot of new energies associated with this person and you felt like they were the center of your world and understandably, that's why you put your life on hold. And um, I feel as well, in the past, if you were stuck in a relationship, a lot of it has to do with finances and you couldn't find a way out. As a result of your financial situation getting better, now you realize that, okay, there's no uh, incentive for me to stay in this situation anymore because I'm not happy. So with this newfound of financial success, you are moving ahead with your life, okay? Um, I'm getting a little bit of a heartbreaker energy with this uh, person. So this earth sign might be somebody with a lot of, um, I feel like status conscious. I feel, um, I feel somebody with a lot of suitors and I feel like somebody who is just, um, you know, a little bit of a heartbreaker. So I'm sorry, Gemini's, um, let's see what happened in the past. Yeah, we have the world in the reverse. So I feel like some news that came in possibly July that really shook your world and you kept yourself on hold. You were um, holding out on this person, making you a commitment. And I feel like some truth being revealed about this person, it made you very upset, but you're going to be like, I'm a bigger person. I'm going to move on past this. They don't really deserve my time and they don't I'm not going to give them the benefit of like um, engaging them in conflict and having them give me some more BS you know explanations so I feel like this is somebody that you really had high hopes for and you really liked quite a bit they really shook your world when this news came to light and I see you moving on Gemini so you know I commend you for that that takes a lot of strength and for this to happen within you know one month's reading that's a well, you bounce back pretty quickly, but I do feel, you know, that you were actually very much invested. So we have the chariot here. Um, a lot of you might be moving into a new situation that is a lot more successful, okay? So if you were the one that is, um, you had like, you know, two options running, you, you might have been involved with somebody in the past, uh, well, two people in the past, and one person proved themselves to be like not trustworthy at all. I feel like a lot of you are immediately shifting your energy into the other person. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. If they, if you know, you're not committed to either of them and they are aware of this. So I feel like you're bouncing back so quickly because there is another option on the side. And I feel like you might have a fire sign or a cancer. Um, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, or a Cancer in um, particular? Let me see if I can 
there is a clock here and in this card and let me see if there's a time limit or like a, a definite amount of time I do send some some movement happening for you either way and I feel like that's gonna be very good for you okay so what do they need to know about this new venture yeah somebody is like dropping the ball somebody is juggling so I'm gonna say this Gemini's if you are the one that is juggling okay if you're juggling two people and when it, so you know Gemini's is known as the twins and a lot of Gemini's have two things two jobs two boyfriends, two girlfriends, two houses, and, and, and two pets, things like that. Um, if, for example, you were like hedging your bets and you were supposed to be dating both people exclusively, but they didn't know about each other, and one person let you down and then you would go to, you know, the, the next person, I feel like you want to be very careful because um, you might drop the ball and end up empty-handed, okay? So that's just for those of you who are specifically... Um, juggling two people and when you're not supposed to. So I do feel there's that element of um, picking one thing, sticking with it, okay? Um, I, I feel like that's going to be a lot better for you. In terms of um, people who are in stable partner relationships and things like that, I do feel taking a trip with your sweetheart is going to be able to rejuvenate and re-inject passion in your relationship. I do sense discord in the past, possibly like um, uh, dealing with a situation where the relationship has been very stale and you're comparing your current relationship with those of your friends, your neighbors, and you're just and, and other newlywed couples and other new couples. And you're just like, you know, why don't we do this? Why don't we do that? Why can't I have the relationship that I want? Well, a lot of it has to do with our own ability to bring and attract and to also um, create the relationship that we want and you know like a lot of people they tend to get into a rut because they stop working at a relationship and it's easier to just fantasize or step outside of the relationship rather than fixing something because um, we tend to take our relationship partners especially if we've been married or been together for some time for granted and we feel like they should put the effort in but you know the effort to maintain and to um, consistently build up a relationship it's um it's an ongoing effort and a lot of times if you've been with somebody for a few years or even like been married for a few years you feel like the foundation is laid I don't need to do any work but there's constantly as with everything in life there's constantly maintenance work that needs to be done right like for your house even though it's stable you still need to repaint every few years or so you need to like you know check the roof and do some gardening weeding and things like that um, there's a lot of maintenance work that you need to do in your current relationship and I feel that it's easier for you to just tell yourself well there's other options for me why don't I just bounce around and step outside of the relationship well that's a wrong way of looking at it everything requires maintenance it requires work it requires effort and this is an ongoing thing, okay? So don't take it for granted. Um, I feel like taking a trip with your significant other will really revive the relationship. Um, seeing your partner in a new light is coming through. Um, unfortunately, I feel like it can be negative or positive, but either way, I do sense that um, a lot of you, there is some type of a pull from your external environment, and um, you might feel like it's a karmic soulmate connection with somebody outside of the relationship but I want you to re-examine why you are keeping yourself stuck just keep that in mind is it because of financial reasons or is it because your heart is still very much invested in this relationship okay so a lot of things to think about Gemini it is also a very emotional month as well be rational about this okay 